A handful of people siphoned off millions of US dollars through various scams involving sugar imports, treasury bonds, coconut oil and even petroleum imports. However, rural Sri Lankans, including those in the village of Puliankaladi, Vakare in the Batiklo district, are forced to make ends meet by selling plums that they pick off trees in the forest. <laughs> The eldest sibling of these young boys explained their woes that have gone unheard. Around 46 boats in the Pudur Fisheries village in Vakare have not set sail for over six months because the fishermen lack fuel to power up these boats. Although they are able to maneuver their boats close to the shore, the sea area in question does not give them a good catch and sometimes there is no fish at all. <laughs> What is more interesting is that these people are living right next to a priceless resource on earth that is an ilmenite deposit and these fishermen have an additional burden on their laurels to protect this resource as well. The small-time industrialists who struggle to make ends meet have now been left even more helpless. The brass industry is famous in Kiribaula, Gadaladenia, Pamunua, Velivala, Rabsegamua and Pilimadthalava in Kandy and these craftsmen not only supplied their products to the whole of Sri Lanka but also to international markets. The local brass industry that was spread across 25 known locations is now confined to a few. The craftsman told Gamanda that a kilogram of raw brass that was at 200 rupees is now priced at 900 rupees. The craftsmen, who are now mostly unemployed, are facing various issues to make ends meet and provide for their families. <laughs> Although there are tanks around the village, the people of Nelumveva in Tanamal Villa, where about 200 families live, purchase drinking water at a price of 4 rupees per litre. These people do not have the strength to build a facility where they can get clean water and no one seems to be paying attention to their woes. The gum at the team stood across the country from door to door for the past 16 days to identify the issues faced by rural Sri Lankans. The gum at the door to door teams have already covered the districts of Jaffna, Mulathivu, Kilinochi, Polonarwa, Matale, Kalutara, Ratnapura, Gaul, Anuradhapura, Mena, Matara, Putlam, Vaunia, Kurunagala, Hambantota, and Trinkamali. This journey will not end. The Gum at the Door to Door program will press on.